Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The laws of nature apply to all of us in the same way. We can't substitute ourselves or, you know, avoid the laws of nature applying to us. As much as we want, they don't. Why? Because that's the way it is, my friends. And uh, if you think that uh, laws of nature will be suspended for you or for I or for anybody else, then that is religious stuff. We are not in uh, that kind of business here. So what happened? We have a country called Japan uh, that wants nuclear weapons for defense. Well, if you think that the nuclear weapons will help you to defend your country from a possible, maybe imaginary uh, enemy or possible attack, okay, well, you are the good people. Japan is good. North Korea is bad. Iran is bad, right? That's what these guys tell us. So then why can't they have it? Or I can't, let's say, another country, Romania. Let's say Romania wants from, for its own defense nuclear weapons. Why can't they have it? Well, I don't want uh, to go into what these guys tell us. We have to think about it, use their thought process by eliminating things that would uh, oppose uh, the reaching the right conclusion. I have here an article from Russia Today where Japan says, Japan military says, it's not like Gigi, Mikey or Tommy, right? It is the military, a general says that Japan might need nuclear weapons on its territories. Well, you had two uh, atomic bombs. You want more than two? Anyway, you know what I mean. So what happened? They say we need it for our protection or deterrent. This comes from Russia Today, and let's analyze this statement. Comes from Russia Today, from today, the 29th of August, 2023. Japan needs, needs is a, you know, uh, all you have is, when you use need, need is a basic need. Everything else is a want. I want, but I need, I need water, I need shelter, I need uh, these kind of things food. Anyway, they need U.S. nuclear weapons. That means the U.S. will use you as a closer uh, launching pad. That's good. That's good. For defense. They need it for defense. They only need it for defense. So what are you going to do with the nuclear weapons as a defense? So you have nuclear weapons. How are you going to defend with nuclear weapons? Shooting them and hitting targets. That's defense, right? I thought that, for instance, when someone attacks you, you know, you as a defense, you know, you block, pam, pam, pam. Once you did, that's offense. Now you can say in, in self-defense, I will knock you out or I try. That's a different story. But defense is blocking, protecting, blocking. Oh, you protect yourself with nuclear weapons. How exactly would you do that? Uh, would you, this is what they're going to do it, launch it towards another target. That's how that is the defense. Well, it's a little bit of a weasel talk, but we're going to get used to it. This um, double speak here. Tokyo can't protect itself without Washington's nuclear umbrella. Protect against whom? A senior military official said, military official, Japan must develop its domestic arms sector if it is to provide for its own security. A top, that's good. It's good. I think that's a good move. But first you have to get rid of the occupiers. <laughs> that's a long way. A top general, Japanese general, has said, arguing that Tokyo currently relies on American nuclear weapons for deterrence against regional rivals. Why are they rivals? Oh, because that's the way we are. Remember, laws of nature, but somehow we are allies and friends. Laws of nature? No. That's based on interest, on temporary interest. That's where you are ally with someone in the world. Speaking to Nikkei Asia for an interview on Monday, General Yoshida, Yoshida, the chief of the Joint Staff of Japan's Self-Defense Forces, Self-Defense Forces, outlined Tokyo's defense needs, highlighting its close military cooperation with Washington. And I'm quoting, we cannot maintain Japan's security with our current capabilities, the general said, adding, and I'm quoting, first, we must fundamentally strengthen our defensive capabilities so that we are not underestimated. Second, 
we need to do what we can to sustain extended deterrence, including through st strategies involving U.S. nuclear weapons. So they want uh, deterrence. So they don't want it for self-defense. They want deterrence. Okay, that's a different story. Very good. So that's not uh, really what it is. But anyway, you can you can stretch it to that thing. Yeah, good. You want for deterrence. So then how about North Korea? Can they have nuclear weapons to deter the Americans to attack them? Can, I don't know, Iran? Because other <clears throat> countries uh, can uh, hit them at will. Oh, can any other country in the world can have it? And what do they need to bring as a uh, folder with an, uh, you know, here it is my little folder here with my documentation. What do I need to provide for you who dropped two atomic bombs to allow me to have them? And why would I? Why should I? Oh, because the uh, contracts, understandings that I signed. Well, why don't you pull out of those? Well, nobody will like you anymore, like North Korea, right? No, nobody likes North Korea. But Japan is or should loudly say it, like Poland. Poland also said, we are okay with the United States deploying nuclear we weapons on our territory. There's not going to be theirs. The same with these guys. They're not going to be theirs. But do you think that the issue here, here is US? It's not Japan defending itself. Do you, I mean, this is how much uh, Japan uh, defends itself and this is how much US interest is to deploy nuclear weapons over there. Now, if you deploy, de deploy uh, nuclear weapons in Japan, then how about Russia deploys or China deploys in Cuba? Do you think that would be okay? To protect them and to, uh, you know, deter the Americans from uh, attacking um, Cuba. Would that be acceptable? And if not, why not? Because if you look at Cuba's uh, history or record and US's record, uh, definitely these guys should not have nuclear weapons, according to their record. But these guys are a little bit ahead of them on the list, don't you think, to have it? I'm not promoting for having them. I'm just pointing out that these guys talk about this little, little issue as being normal just because, but when someone else wants it, oh no, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right, so let's uh, read further. Yoshida went on to explain that Japan has engaged in deep dialogue with the United States for more than a decade on, quote unquote, extending the US nuclear umbrella over Japan. These are euphemistic, U nuclear umbrella, that's nice, to protect you from uh, rain. You don't get wet. All right, we like it dry anyway. So, nothing that the deal was struck in June, noting that the deal was struck in June for additional information sharing, joint training and joint missile response. Japan is the only nation in history to have been targeted with atomic bombs. Weapons, by whom? A US Army Air Force bomber dropped a nuclear bomb over uh, Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, killing up to 120 6,000 people, most of them civilians. Another atomic bomb was detonated over the city of Nagasaki on August 9, killing up to 80,000 people, almost all of them who were civilians. Well, and in the aftermath of the nuclear bombings, Japan became an ally by force of the US after American forces occupied its territory and wrote its quote-unquote pacifist constitution. The country still hosts the highest number of US bases and troops in the world and has also long been under America's nuclear umbrella, a series of US security guarantees to non-nuclear states. South Korea, Australia, New Zealand and several NATO members also enjoy similar statement agreements. General Yoshida argued that Japan is, and I'm quoting, on the front lines in the Indo-Pacific. Why? Just because of your geographic position or because of the politics you uh, go about that you don't have any foreign policy? That's what the Americans want. No, which is fine. If, you, if your politicians do that for you guys, vote for them. Stating that Tokyo and its partners, I like that word, partners, would work to, quote unquote, maintain an international order based on the rule of love. Law, love, yes, law. <laughs> uh, when I hear international order, what's international order exactly? I do whatever I want and you guys follow the rules that I, I, I make and you have to agree while warning of and provocations by North Korea and China. He added that the strategic environment facing Japan is driving public support, dividing 
public no driving public support for increased military spending and better counter-strike capabilities well if you're uh, if your mass media pushes this narrative then you're gonna have uh, the public going along with that uh, that happens in the United States everywhere if you have a few mainstream news outlets uh, promoting a certain kind of garbage whatever the garbage might be then the public the weaker strata of our society will just buy that because uh, they're very very intelligent and very uh, strong and uh, courageous they will buy that and they would want to be protected by big daddy government like a child want to be protected by a adult parent why these guys consider the government as the adult and they consider themselves as weak coward uh children uh anyway when actually it's not so if you want to see how adult those guys are you just have to look at who is in the government in the united states of america biden from zero to ten uh, i give him as intellectual capability and as a an able guy uh, negative three i would give kamala negative negative seven uh karine jean pierre who's just a spokesperson but he should be fast and smart she's negative 300 uh, then you have blinken a mediocre guy a three out of ten then you have uh, jack whatever his name is i always have a problem with that jake uh, not shilling i can't freaking remember it jake uh, and another advisor i would give him another three or four who else um kirkby or kirby kirkby again he's a weasel maybe he's a four but he's oh my who else mark milley jesus christ that's one um the other one and that's the general of uh, chief of staff steve still is now the minister of defense or the secretary of defense lloyd austin a negative five this guy of charge of military uh who else do we have there that usually uh, the the CIA and the FBI directors, uh, they're not, uh, let's say, a five or Christopher Ray, and I can't remember the other guy. Uh, let's say a five and a four. That's out of ten. That's not even half, my friends. These are the guys in charge. Who else? Who else do we have over there that, oh, Mayorkas, the education, he's a weasel. He, I would give him a four or five. He's not an idiot, but he's um, Mayorkas, right? He's the ed education, the DHS, I think he is not education. Uh, DHS and so on my friends um, I don't I can't remember the names and more but none of them impressed me with anything and I'm just an adult so those are the guys that supposedly imp and if I go into the the Capitol Hill I will get a lot of weasels remember Feinstein doesn't even fucking know if, she, if she's alive or, or dead the other one uh, what's the name uh, Pelosi the same way and you have a lot of weasels over there a lot of weasels on both sides because we have only two sides unfortunately uh, we like diversity but somehow in politics we have only two sides a or b adidas or nike you love that yes when you go to buy some shoes you have only two pairs of shoes one nike one adidas nothing else just two of them um uh, and they're the same it's just uh three lines versus one uh versus one i was like puma <laughs> anyway here it is my friends and puma is not uh, you know i mean in politics we we don't like diversity it's a or b it's white or black which is not they're the same party the same party as these guys call it uni party it's like two identical twins one has a mustache the other one the other one doesn't have that's what the republican and democrat parties are two identical twins with the same parents who feed them and push them here Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.